Hey guys, how you doing? Right here again. If you'd like to subscribe, it's Nitro Kyosho. Also, I wanted to mention quick, I'm on Facebook now. We're going to have a lot of cool things on there. Uh, all the YouTube stuff uh, is being linked there. You can find me by simply typing in Nitro Kyosho and you'll go to the community page. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions lately, guys, about batteries. Because people see me with the Thunder Power batteries and some people say, are they really that good, Ray? Uh, and I get a lot of questions about different sizes and what they will fit in, uh, how much they cost. Uh, I've kind of stepped away from doing talking too much about one product, guys, because when I tend to talk about one product too much, people accuse me of owning the company. <laughs> and uh, so I kind of get a little tired of that. I'm just trying to share stuff with you guys that I find to be good products, period. Um, and uh, so that's why I show you things and that's why I, I give good reviews and I give bad reviews on the same products. You know, I really have an unbiased uh, opinion, you know. Um, and I hope by saying the things I say, it's not to slam the companies, but it's to help maybe make them better realize something, you know. Uh, but anyways, one of the biggest questions I get asked is, do they make a battery for this, or do they make a battery for that? And I'm here basically, I've got the web page open here, and uh, it's very simple to use. It's www.thunderpowerrc.com. And when you go on the web page, they have the main page where you can, you know, chargers, batteries, motors, and so on. And if you click simply on batteries, it'll give you the wide variety. You have air batteries, surface batteries, uh, ProLite MS series. Uh, they have transmitter batteries. They have receiver uh, batteries. They have batteries for boats, batteries for cars, uh, buggies. Uh, as far as helicopters and stuff like that goes, guys, they make them all the way down into the ultra micros, okay, which I'll click on right now. And those range anywhere from $299 to $1199. You can get sets of uh, four. Uh, you can get them for the MCPX, the 130X, for the Blade series of helicopters, and so on. Uh, so, I mean, they make those, okay, all the way up to... Uh, they have the 4525C, and these are the 70C, and they go up into the, you know, 7000 range, 7700, uh, they got 6600, 5000, 6000s, 4400s, 3300s, 3850s, 2700s, 2250s, 1800, 1300, 850, so they have a variety for everybody, guys. I mean... Uh, they definitely have you covered uh, for anything you're going to be flying. Uh, a lot of the questions I get asked about these here, these are the uh, 70C G8. Uh, these are the ones that were, as far as I know, were designed for, with the help of a line to fit perfect in the Dominator, the 1350s here. Uh, and these absolutely fit like a dream into the uh, Align 450L Dominator. So I believe they were, uh, they must have worked with Align to get the exact perfect size for these. Um, I do have more batteries, guys. I have some uh, 7 cells and I have more 4400s and a couple 1350s that are down in my toolbox and I just didn't have the room to pile everything up here and I don't want things falling off the table. But <laughs> I do have more. Uh, Another question I get asked a lot is about the long packs. I don't use the long packs, me personally, because they're stuck together and you don't have the versatility like you have with these. With the 5000s or the 4400s, I can use them in my Goblin 500. I use the, five, the 5000s I just got to go in the Goblin 570. Uh, the 4400s go together in the T-Rex 700. Uh, these are for the Dominator, and I do apologize about one thing, guys. I promised a 570 Goblin video today, but it is pouring out in New England, so that's not going to happen until next week, so I apologize for that. 
Uh, but, I mean, in my opinion, guys, and all the different batteries that I've used over the years, I think Thunder Power are the best. I've used some that I had, the old G6s that I had for five, six years and beyond, and they never died. And when I originally got them, I didn't know what I was doing. I was a little green, never charged them properly or balanced them properly. And those things still go up to 4.20 per cell and still hold the charge and still work. So that is pretty impressive. So imagine if you do use them properly from day one. Uh, but I had to be educated on LiPo batteries. I was coming out of the NICAD errors. <laughs> but I do have a, a wide a range of knowledge about them now. Uh, one cool thing too, you can get these sticker sheets to decorate your uh, field box, your helicopter, and show off your Thunder Power colors. But, you know, not trying to sound like a pitch man, guys. Uh, I think if you talk to a lot of pros out there, you're going to know. They're going to tell you these are the best batteries out there, period. There's uh, some imitator companies that popped up recently, and uh, they sell them for a little cheaper, but... I've always believed in you get what you pay for, you buy quality, and you'll get quality. I also use their chargers. Uh, I have two of their chargers, uh, the latest and greatest one, the dual port. And the chargers work awesome. I have videos about those if you want to check them out. Simple to use. they got a gentleman there that works there. His name is Mark. He's a, a tech tech support, and he will walk you through anything. If you buy their products, guys, they'll help you. They come nicely packaged, the 5000s came nicely packaged in these thick boxes with bubble wrap and they have an instruction sheet with them. Now, I've talked to people that have ruined batteries in the past. As far as I've been told by their techs there, the proper way to break these batteries in, guys, is three gentle hovers, or gentle flights with a linear throttle curve of basically 0, 25, 50, 75, 100, no idle up, no abusing them, no beating on them, and about three flights should do it. And if you go by that, you'll notice by the fourth flight, when you go to do some acrobatics, you'll feel the power kicking in. The chemicals are all mixing, guys, and got to mix and gel together. And my buddy listened to me, and he did it on a T-Rex 700 he had, and he said by the fourth flight, he felt the power surging, increasing, and getting more powerful every flight after that. I've talked to another buddy that had some that kind of didn't do that, and he said the batteries weren't balancing and, and this and that right. So I don't know what he did with them, but he never broke them in properly. Uh, so it's just like a nitro engine. If you don't break those in properly from day one, you'll have nothing but problems from then on. Uh, but... As far as I know, guys, if you follow what they tell you to do to a T, you'll have very good success with these batteries and you won't have any problems. They've got great customer service, great prices, great tech support, packaging is good. Uh, in my opinion, and I'm not a pitch man, guys, but they are the best batteries in the world, hand, hands down. Um, every helicopter I have is expensive. The Goblin 570 was about $1,700 to build. The T-Rex 700, you're t lingering on $2,000. The Goblin 500 was up in $1,500 range. And even the T-Rex 450Ls, you know, five dollars $600 helicopter to build. I don't want my helicopters lighting on fire. I don't want them burning up. And I don't want to take the chance with some $20 LiPo battery from uh, you know where. These are made in USA. Uh, they're a great company, they've been around a long time, and that's all I trust in my helicopters to use, guys. And uh, So, that's my opinion of these batteries. For all the people that keep asking me, they say, do you really use Thunder Power in all your helicopters? Well, here they are, at least uh, probably three quarters of them that I do have are on the table. I do trust them. I've never had one puff up. I've never had one light on fire, I've never had one go bad, and I've never lost a helicopter because of a battery. Uh, there's nothing worse than seeing a $2,000 helicopter in flames, guys. Uh, and uh, as a, 
Another safety feature, you should carry a fire extinguisher with you to the field just in case of uh, accidents because you wouldn't want to light a field on fire, you know. But uh, that's my opinion of these Thunder Power batteries. I do think they're the best in the world, guys, hands down. I've used a lot of batteries in the past. I've named names. I'm not going to name them again. And uh, these have been nothing but reliable, and I've used them from day one, so... Anyways, look for that flight next Sunday, guys. I apologize, but it is pouring out here in New England, so the 570 will be out next Sunday. And also, Facebook, remember, Nitro Kyosho, all one word, the community. We're going to have uh, pictures of the field, guys, helicopters, um, and the YouTube videos are going to be linked there. So thanks for watching, guys, and... Uh, uh, check out Thunder Power's website, www.thunderpowerrc.com, and uh, I'm sure they'll have any size battery or C rating to accommodate you. Thanks for watching, guys.